Santa Claus was sitting at his chair near the fireplace, looking over his list of children. Most of them had been very good all year, but there were a few he was worried about, especially Isa and Jenny. Well, what's the latest news of Isa and Jenny? They try hard to be good. But they seem to have a hard time. They get in trouble for the age They are only four more days until I have to make my big trip. We must decide about them soon. I'll keep my eyes on them. I let you know how things are going. Well, that's good. Now let's see what Isa and Jenny have to say about Santa Claus. Hello, Santa Claus. Let's get in the wood. It's the best place to play. Let's take and hide. Mr. Lobo too said he doesn't want anyone to go on the school playground. But maybe he <laughs> just got one to hurt. Meanwhile, Santa Claus decided to see how things were going in his workshop. The elves were working furiously. It was just about this time that Isa and Jenny were continuing on their way toward the schoolyard. Maybe we're gonna find something fun to do without getting into trouble. Look, David's alone. Let's go get him to play. A few days later, at the North Pole, Santa Claus was getting ready for his trip. The time had finally arrived. It was Christmas Eve. Santa had already, already itched up his reindeer. Cornelius! Cornelius! Yes, Santa? Cornelius, what's the latest news of Santa um, Jenny? 
I'm ready to pack your skits and dog. Great, Miss Cynthia. You've been playing good and even played with Bob who was alone. I knew you were a good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Isa and Jenny did the most important thing. They were kind to another person. That's what really counts. As Santa Claus was turning on his trip, his sleigh loaded with toys, Isa and Jenny were getting ready to go to bed by brushing their teeth. They had hung up their stocking by the chimney. Cookies and milk were set out in case Santa wanted a snack. And you'll be good. Okay, big brother. Oh, wait. I wouldn't know whether I'm being good or not. Oh, that's true. Let's go to bed. Good night, Jenny. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> Late that night, while Isa and Jenny slept, a smiling Santa led a beautiful doll and some shiny new ice skates under the tree. If they had been awake, they would have heard... Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho!